Alexa, how long have you been boxing for? I've been boxing for four years. Four years? Yeah. What really got you into it? You know what, I just went into a gym with a friend and then I fell in love instantly. When I was younger, I used to compete skateboarding um, on the world circuit. Oh, so you participated in other sports as well? <laughs> yeah, that's right. So for me, I felt like it was my second chance to really uh, achieve the goals that I set out to when I was younger. I always wanted to be a champion and be great at something. So uh, when I was skating, I, I did, you know, I pushed, I pushed it, but I didn't quite get where I wanted to get to. So when I stepped into the gym and felt the uh, similar feeling that skateboarding gave me. I just felt like I had a purpose again and that I could do it this time, you know, being a little bit more mature and um, smarter, you know. And basically, I think it's just in my blood to be pushing those limits. So when I saw you enter the ring to do your little workout, I yeah. was in awe because there's not many women that we do see in boxing. So what do you think needs to be done in order to attract more women into the sport? I think to attract more women in sport, the promoters and um, the promoters, managers, the trainers need to start supporting women. There's definitely talent out there and um, the only way that we can get a really good shot is if, if we're on TV and, and um, capturing the minds of the public and getting fans behind us, um, being able to sell our fight and things like that. So it, it's really the whole industry that needs to get behind women's boxing and find those talents and showcase us um, on the big screen with HBO or Showtime, you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, for, Lu for Lisa, what do you think sets her apart from all your other fighters? I, I didn't hear her talk. What do you think sets Louisa from all your other fighters? Do you train anyone else? Um, you know, I didn't understand the question. But what, like, what makes her so special? Oh, she's a, she's a little female macho camacho. Mm -hmm. You know, I used to have uh, two world champions, girls. One was uh, Graciela Casillas <laughs> and the other was the female Lali, Jackie Dana Wanda. This girl has got a lot of action, like a macho. She's got, she can speak, she's got a good eye, she's got good feet. She fights with her feet and with her hands. And she's very smart, she learns right away. Yeah, I mean, you said that you were only boxing for four years, so I was actually really impressed with how much power you have. So how much, how often do you train, by the way? Like, what does she do for conditioning? Well, like, like a nation, I, I, I train her just like a world champion, and I train her like a man. You know, I don't differentiate her from anything else. She's got to do whatever. As a matter of fact, she runs one mile more than a man. <laughs> um, so, is there anyone in particular that you do want to fight, though? Even though it seems like the pool in boxing is pretty small, but is there anyone yeah. in particular you want to fight? You know, I was wanting to fight Momo Kashiki for a while. You know, Momo Kashiki? Yeah, I, wa I wanted to fight her, you know, but she just retired recently. Um, I don't know, maybe she might come back one day. Um, who knows? But, you know, I fight her. Uh, we want to get the world title, the WBC world title, and the fight who we need to fight. Um, are you aware how influential you are to minority women? Like, I'm, Fili I'm Filipino-American myself, so the fact that you're half Filipino actually means a lot to me. Oh, thank like, you. are you aware of how influential you are, um, by the way? Or? I guess not so much. Like, I just focus on <laughs> what I'm doing and what I what I wake up to do every single day. And mm -hmm. I want to inspire other women and um, I want to inspire other people, not just women. But, uh, you know, I guess it just happened naturally by doing what I do and loving what I'm doing. So, mm -hmm. so combat sports is, all, is like really male dominated, but, you know, we have MMA and Ronda Rousey, she pretty much opened the door for women to participate in yeah, MMA as well. I think, I think they did a great thing, um, you know, marketing Ronda Rousey definitely opened up the doors and Donna White definitely captured the imagination that uh, was needed to create that profile and, and um, to push Ronda Rousey out there and make her a superstar. Um, there's definitely things that I guess boxing could take from that as to how to market women um, and how to put us out into the public. So with you and like you know Ronda Rousey, all these women who are participating in combat sports, 
um, it's obviously going to influence other females as well to participate. So what's something that you do want to tell women out there who want to participate in something like a combat sport but are, but are intimidated by it? Uh, you know, you just got to get out there and give it a shot and enjoy what you're doing. If you can enjoy it and overcome some of the challenges, then, you know, it's, it's a great sport. It's, um, it's good lifestyle. It's healthy and it gives you something to look forward to and something to be motivated for. Um, you know, I really think that exercise and being active and moving is, is good for your mentality, good for your mind, good for your heart, good for your health, and it's good for your children if you have children as well to see that you're active and um, participating in some kind of sport. So for any women out there that want to try it, um, give it a shot and don't worry about what other people think. Just have some fun, you know? Thank you.